Hello, and welcome back to theCUBE's coverage here live in Las Vegas for AWS reInvent 2021. We're in person, been two years since theCUBE's been on the ground here at a live event. It's a hybrid event. Check them out online, AWS has got the reInvent site as well as CUBE online. I'm John Furrier, your host. We've got a great guest here from Latin America, Jaime Valles, VP of Latin America for AWS. A lot of global change with the regions, a lot of great stuff. Cultural integration, if you will, of skills. People all around the world using cloud computing. Jaime, it's great for coming on theCUBE. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, John. Thank you. For, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Um, I wish I could speak in the native tongue, but I can't. I know, but I know online there's some special rooms that people have on the, the Cube site. So, uh, a lot of tech, a lot of cloud native in the world. I'm seeing Latin America and all the events we've done had a great participation in the cloud ecosystem in Latin America. A lot of young talent. A lot of things happening. What's, what's going on? Well, as you can see around us today, a lot of things are happening in the cloud. We are in this inflection point in the industry of technology that is accelerating innovation, accelerating transformation all over the world, and obviously Latin America is not an exception. We're seeing this momentum, we're seeing large enterprise companies leveraging the cloud to transform their customer experiences, to drive innovation. We're seeing startups to drive competitiveness and try to compete with the world. And that's also enabling a lot of younger generations to move faster, to innovate, to yeah. dream big and drive new ideas. So you're seeing that same momentum in Latin America all across the region, but this is day one, John. And we're, and we're seeing this happening for many years ahead. You know, I love inflection points, and I've been saying this, and just wrote a blog post about it on siliconangle.com, that we are now at an, another inflection point where cloud is going next gen, where in any kind of revolution or inflection point, this cultural revolution starts with the young people. And I've never seen an impact with Kubernetes and microservices and the modern approach of the younger generation. It's like, if I was 20, I'd be a kid in a candy store. What, I don't have to build lambdas there for me? I don't have to provision any servers? So the, I'm seeing an impact for the younger generation around cloud. Sure. And it's global phenomenon. What's, what's going on in the younger talent in Latin America? Well, it's exactly as you say. I mean, your generation see inflection as opportunity. Opportunity to make new things happen, to, as I said, to dream big and actually enable their ideas to become a reality. And that's what you're seeing all across the region. You see this in Brazil, you see this in Argentina, you see this in Colombia, Mexico, large startup communities that are competing with the world and you have, you know, we have an example like Nubank that was here this morning, like started seven years ago, 2014, with a view of transforming the financial services experience, that's where we're seeing all across yeah. Latin America. Get the young kids slinging APIs around with containers now, you've got the container movement. We had a great showing from you in Brazil and our DockerCon event, um, very notable um, intelligence coming out of that area, amazing. Young talent, I was just blown away by the, by the amazing work. But in the region itself, there's still transformation, so I know you're, you're well known for doing really big deals at AWS, uh, I can say that, big banks, multi-million dollar deals, so there's growth there, there's existing business transforming while new entrepreneurs are coming in, it's kind of the best of both worlds. What's the, what's the growth look like? As you mentioned, very large enterprises understand that the cloud and a transformation of culture is going to allow them to innovate on behalf of their customers. Every large enterprise customer thinking about different ways to contact their customers, transforming the experience. You're seeing customers like Itaú, like Bancolombia, that are migrating their legacy systems into the cloud in order to make faster decisions, to increase agility, to increase innovation, and let their people, because at the end, John, it's all about the people, let their people build on behalf of their customers and transform their experiences. You know, one of the things I noticed during the pandemic, and I'd love to get your reaction to this because I know you're living that as well every day, even before the pandemic, but since everything went virtual and now hybrid, you're seeing a very low friction point to get in and collaborate. There's almost a new social construct, connective tissue between no boundaries. So you can have an event, like here at reInvent, we're in person, but yet there's an online community digitally engaging. So we're starting to see self-formation where people around the world are getting together. How has it impacted how you uh, manage and how you engage with your customers in your region? Well, as you said, it's a combination of many things. Our customers are still like people in person. That's why we have offices in Brazil. We have offices in Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, Costa Rica, Peru. We still have presence there. We are where we work very close with our customers. We understand they need and what they want to do. But now, for example, during the last two years, I've had the opportunity to leverage in technology 
be present in what we call virtual trips in most of our countries. Full day experiences, and I have to tell you, at the beginning, I was concerned. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the opportunity to meet some of these people before. Today, when I see them in person here in Rainbend, it's like as if we had met from before. So as you say, it's the hybrid experience that allows us to be in person with our customers, with our partners across the region, but also in our remote base, having the opportunity to build the same relations. And that's what technology is enabling. Better experience, faster innovation, and more agility and growth all across Latin America. So it's, you know, one of the things I talked to Adam Slutsky about before reInvent a week ago, um, on a, my exclusive interview with him was, he was very adamant about the clouds expanding everywhere. Obviously you got the edge, manufacturing, AWS everywhere. But he mentioned the regions, the, the, the continued growth of regions. It's been 10 years since Latin America. How's that impacted what you got going on there? And what, what's next from a region perspective? And how has that changed the landscape? Hey, what you're touching, John, is probably the most important thing we're seeing. You're absolutely right. We started 10 years ago, December 14, in Brazil, with an office and a region there. Since there, we launch offices in most of our countries. Now, the important thing here is how our technology is enabling our companies, Latin American companies, we have 17 million companies in Latin America, be more competitive. Com you know, some examples, I just mentioned Nubank, but you have Mercado Libre that is competing with very large companies. You have Bank Colombia, you have GBM in Mexico. So what we're seeing is our companies be able by leveraging the latest and best technology to compete with the world and to drive that competitiveness that we need. The other thing is about talent. Yeah. If we enable and empower our Latin American talent, our builders, to build these new experiences, that's what's going to allow the region to accelerate their growth, their competitiveness, and their social benefit. And what's interesting too is that you can see from the trends, to do that, you can do it really fast now, instantly. So it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity. Um, I got to ask you while you're here, because I'm really curious, I'm sure the viewers will be as well. What's, what's going on in Latin America from a trend standpoint? What's the vibe like? What's the, what's the environment like? What's the, what's the mindset like there in, the, in those regions from an entrepreneurship perspective, from a cloud enablement perspective, from a cultural perspective? What's your report? What's, how would you report on that? Thank you. First of all, we're seeing the cloud accelerate all across Latin America. And, I, and as I said, it's really day one for all of us. The other thing is that our customers are understanding that digital transformation is not a technology transformation. It's a cultural transformation leveraged by um, leveraging technology for that to happen. It's about people. It's about mechanisms in the company. It's about the way companies make decisions. And that's why, why the, power, the cloud is so important in emp to empower these people to make things happen. In fact, what we're seeing in Latin America is CEOs of some of these companies, like Bank Colombia CEO, is very engaged in this transformation. We're He's reviewing technology, he's understanding the cloud, because that's how they realize or how they understand the importance of you know, changing their companies, focus on their customers. The other thing is Latin American companies understand that they need to understand their customer needs, work backwards from that, and leverage that, that technology, the cloud, in order to improve the experiences of their customers. So I got to put you on the spot on a question I got to ask you. you know, it's, this is 10 years of reInvent. We've been here for nine, and I remember the first one we went was the second one. There wasn't many people here. We're like getting guests from the hallway. Hey, come on up on the cube. <laughs> now we can't, there's no open spots. Um, 15 years is how old Amazon is, sure. uh, Amazon Web Services. So, so as Adam takes over and you have Amazon going in the next 15 years, what's your vision on how that evolves? Because you know, you're looking at the pandemic ending, and pandemic has proven to a lot of people that digital works here, but it's exposed what doesn't work. You can't hide the ball anymore if you're business. But you're exposed. If you're in the cloud or you've got modern software, if no one's using it, it's not working. Change it, you can do it fast. So the whole hiding behind, you know, I bought this project, bought this software, old guard, new guard. I mean, you can't hide the ball anymore. So that changes things. But also the creativity of refactoring business sure. is also there. So you got, you got fear, I don't, can't hide the ball, you're exposed to opportunity. Opportunity. What's your reaction to that? In fact, what, what I was going to say is where we see is opportunity. I mean, if you see 15 years out, where you see first of all is all customers in Latin America or everywhere else leveraging the cloud. That's the most important thing. Number two, people leveraging technology to make things happen. 
It's about building, it's about making, and, and, and we talk about this before, is when you realize that people are looking for better ways to improve their experience, launching startups, and this is in finance, in the financial services, this is in manufacturing, this is in all the different industries across Latin America, we see opportunity. The other one, John, is a region like Latin America understands that with people, you need to enable them. It's about talent. And in order to enable talent, you need to educate them. So in AWS, we're actually investing a lot of time and effort to what? To give them the best training content in their local language. To launch programs that allow them to innovate, like activate, that enables the startups to launch. So what we're doing is giving builders, younger generation tools to be more successful, and again, dream big and th make things happen. Yep. Now, so the next 15 years, it's about opportunity, transforming, faster decision making, agility in the way companies move, and also driving competitiveness in Latin America to be able to compete in a globalized environment because everything is interconnected yeah. and it's about global reach today. And that's why we need our talent to invest, educate, to drive that transformation of the region. Yeah, and I think the global connectedness is a real point there. Great insight. I think the cultural revolution's here. The younger generation's engaged. Existing business is transforming, which means if they don't do it right, they're going to lose it to the other guy, okay. <laughs> other people. So, I have, okay, final question for you. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate your time. I know you're busy. Looking at the pandemic ending, what's the major patterns that you're seeing in Latin America around companies' strategies to transform out of the pandemic with a growth strategy? Because everyone I talk to is like, we're going to come out with a, t a, a tailwind and we're going to be on the upward slope. Obviously, they're using cloud, of course. But is there a pattern of that coming out of the pandemic with a upward growth? So we're seeing all across Latin America, companies looking for better ways to reach their customers. That is the fact. Traditional touch points are not enough. Now, they are building on top of that, so we are seeing Latin American companies invest to transform their legacy systems in order to look for different ways to approach the customers. Number two, we're seeing Latin American companies to leverage data in order to make better, more informed, and faster decisions and to scale their business and accelerate and empower their teams. We're seeing companies in Latin America investing in tools to let their people make things happen. As I said before, Cultural transformation, digital transformation is about people, it's about fast decision making, and it's about leveraging the technology to make it happen. We're seeing a lot of startup communities across our countries. New ideas taking yeah. place, and as you know, AWS has always been focused on let, you know, supporting startups and those new ideas. So we're seeing a lot of things happen in the region, a lot of momentum, a lot of growth, and what we're seeing is the cloud enabling that growth, that opportunity that you were talking about with our view that 15 years out, a lot of new business models are going to be let, making ha taking half. I mean, that's a great point. I think, just to highlight that one key thing, talent. You just add talent to the cloud capabilities. You can get there faster. You do it with a team, even better. Um, collaborations changing. Just the ability to capture opportunities are now faster than when we were growing up. They have it better, don't they? Absolutely. <laughs> don't you wish you were 20 again? <laughs> I do. <laughs> With all this code out there. <laughs> and that's what we said, it's about the people. And I can tell you from one of our biggest investments, my biggest investments is giving the talent that opportunity. Giving our best training content in local language so they can learn new and better ways of making things happen. So again, as I said, leveraging, supporting startups to grow. So all the programs are on talent for Latin American cities, yeah. for our customers and our partners. Because at the end, we understand that our partners expand our solutions to the market, and it's our partners that allow us to be present in the many countries that are part of Latin America. Well, we love your vision, love your, love your, your insight, and we will have a CUBE region in your area, and we're going to contact you, the CUBE, will open their doors for the Latin America community, so look for that this year. Thanks for coming on. John, yeah, looking forward to, to joining you and hosting you in our countries. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of enthusiasm, passion, and growth and opportunity in Latin America. A lot of great action. The younger generation's engaged. The older generation's transforming the business models. The cloud is going next gen. This is theCUBE, bringing all the live action. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in global tech coverage. I'm John Furrier, your host. Thanks for watching.